Hi, you guys. So today in your January grant packet, we are on page seven. And page seven has a picture of two little penguins, or one little one, one big one, in the top right-hand corner. So just make sure you're in the right spot. The reason there are penguins is because it says on January 20th, it is Penguin Awareness Day. How fun is that? When writers revise and edit their work, we talk about this a lot in writing in class, they sometimes need to expand, combine, or reduce their sentences for meaning for the reader, the listener interest, and for the style. So what we're working on is kind of a new skill we haven't talked a lot about yet. So I really want you to pay attention. I'll definitely do a few examples for you. What we're going to do is we're going to see how they want us to change the sentence by either expanding it and making it longer, by combining two sentences into one, or by reducing a sentence because it's just far too long. There's too much information. And this is an editing skill that you guys need to know how to do so that when you edit your essays in class, whether it's an opinion essay, a narrative essay, or an informative essay, you know how to do this. Because again, this is an editing skill that writers do during their revision stage of writing. So this is something that I'll be looking for and reminding you to do when you guys revise and edit your essays in class. So let's go ahead and get started. So it wants me to expand on this word. So. It says that if it wants you to expand it, you can add words, you can change them around, but we need to make sure that this information stays the same. So here's an example of how to expand a sentence. This sentence says that penguins don't fly, they swim. How can I expand it so it's not just so that it's not just such a short, boring sentence? I need to keep this information, but I think I could add in some words and make it a juicier sentence. So here's how we're going to do that. So you guys can copy this down. We're going to say that penguins are a type of bird that does not fly. comma, however, they know how to swim, period. So look how I expanded that. I expanded on the fact that they're a type of bird, but even though they're a bird, it's interesting, they don't fly. And I added in a conjunction, however, they do know how to swim. So all I did was was expanded it by adding a few words without changing the meaning of the sentence. So that's how we expand. Let's talk about how we combine. So think about if I need to combine a sentence, I'm going to go ahead and use a comma and con or a conjunction instead. So it says, they don't live at the North Pole. So they're talking about penguins. Many live at the South Pole in Africa, South America, or Australia. So how do I take all this information and combine it into a simpler sentence? I can say that penguins live at the South Pole in Africa, comma, South America, comma, and Australia. So instead of saying they don't live at the North Pole, I just crawl, I just got rid of that part and I said because I'm still explaining where they do live. And I wrote it in one sentence. Penguins live at the South Pole in Africa, South America, and Australia. All right, and then let's talk about how we reduce. Reduce is we definitely want to get rid of some words that are not needed. Penguins catch their food in the water. They eat all kinds of meat, so they are carnivores. They eat fish, shrimp, krill, and squid. 
all this information can, can definitely be reduced into a simpler sentence. Again, it wants us to do that. It wants us to reduce it. So that's why I can go ahead and get rid of some words. I don't want to get rid of the important parts, which is they eat food in the water, they eat carnivore, and here are some examples of what they eat. I, I need to keep that information. So what I can do is I can combine all of this and reduce the amount of words. So I can say that penguins are carnivores, comma, and catch fish, shrimp, krill, or squid in the water. So I made, I took all this information and put it into one sentence. Penguins are carnivores and catch fish, shrimp, krill, or squid in the water. Done. So now what you're going to do is you're going to show me that you can practice this and you've learned a little bit. Just go off my examples to help you. I want you to expand number four, combine number five, and reduce number six. And we will definitely go over this in class, okay? So that's your grammar packet, page seven. Go ahead and get started.